there, kind of. <laughs> so for the speedrun of this game, this is the, the first stage, the jungle. And uh, the boss of this stage is very heavy RNG with the bullets. So if everything goes well, I can kill it really fast and he won't kill me. But if I get bad RNG, there's a chance that he might kill me. And that is going to be really bad because I will lose like 40 to 50 seconds. Uh, still not impossible to get a sub-11 time that hopefully I can get. Um, and yeah, another thing to mention is the weapon of choice is the spread. Uh, there I just was uh, messing around with the flame because it's some swaggy points. Um. Yeah, he basically wants to keep the spread the entire speedrun, if everything goes well. Okay, we'll see here. Yes! <laughs> Thank you, Wall. Thank you. We have a run now. Yeah, it's not a tough uh, fight, but uh, as I said, the RNG can be really mean. Okay, yeah. do you want to spread the, exp the yeah. uh, spread rhythm? So the thing here, uh, it might just look like he's mashing, but what he really is doing, uh, you can't just mash straight out crazy in this game. Uh, you need to fire the first two shots a little separately and then start your mash to get a spread rhythm. Uh, and if he gets it going, you will notice it by seeing the bullets go in a straight line, like he's doing now. It's, this is okay. Um, <laughs> just okay? Just okay. Okay. Just okay. <laughs> I, I, you know, I have high standards here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there you see very good rhythm. It's like uh, four to five bullets in a straight line. And that means uh, he will get the kills on those uh, shield things much faster. So there's a specific setup for the boss here. Let's see if we can uh, get it. Okay. So we missed one shield there at the top, but he managed to recover very good. So um, in this level, uh, there is well, you want to jump as soon as possible, but also there is uh, the jumping height value changes if you're going left, right, or if you stand still. So I'm gonna try to get a, a ledge skip right here, and I got it. Uh, there is some others, uh, but unfortunately, uh, that involves a risky flame jump there that is not very marathon safe. Uh, there is a newer route that uh, Dexter with, I don't remember. I think it was uh, CL Chambers who found it. Yeah, uh, it was kind of a mix, but uh, again, everything was uh, kind of uh, from Salar the find uh, that you can ledge skip. So kind of in a consistent way, so that's pretty cool. Um, and yeah, you let skip also like there. Sometimes I get it just by luck. But yeah, as I... Well, uh, here we have the, this... This boss fight. That um, I I like killing both arms. Uh. It's a good thing to... You ideally want to kill this boss in no. one cycle. But... Um, was one bullet short. Yeah. <laughs> but the thing is, if you kill both arms, it reduces the lag, so he opens his mouth almost in instantly for the second cycle. If you leave one arm alive, it will take more time. So that was some very nice rhythm going there. You can see the difference when he has to mash slowly in the screen transitions. You only see like two lines of five bullets, but you want a straight line. That's very good. Ah, come on. <coughs> yeah, you really want to don't miss the, the spell rhythm. And it's also very hard to keep it from room to room. Yeah. Um, but there is rooms like this one that uh, probably is faster to make it this way, uh, shooting the, the spread. So the spread has uh, five bullets that it shoots per shoot. But uh, once a bullet hits something, it disappears and you're able to shoot that bullet. So that is how, uh, kind of the logic behind that, and it's very useful for, for this. Uh. Yeah, it, it makes a huge difference time-wise. I mean, it, it can be probably 20 seconds in a base alone. And uh, there's, a, there's a boss coming up here soon. Uh, he's going to try to perform a glitch. And the boss is in two parts and it spreads apart. And if, if he hits the boss at the exact right frame, uh, he can get a fast kill which is, should not be possible. That's close. Oh, come on. Well. Oh, 
close. <laughs> I was trying to back up from the back up from the back up, uh, yeah. <laughs> but well, <laughs> well, you didn't die. <laughs> That's yeah, dying from this point. Um, it's not that bad. You snowfield is probably the fastest recovery in the game if you should die, because you get a spread back very fast, but. Uh, but you never want to die. Yeah, if you die after that spread, then it's, it's very tricky. There is a, a kind of a frame perfect jump that recently I find something that I call the scam jump. I'm gonna see if I can get it. Let's see, it's, it's right here. That is, that is the scam jump. Like Probably it's like two frame trick, but, uh, but it's really tough. So it looked like the frame perfect jump. I could have just said I got the frame perfect, the bomb jump, but well. That was the scam jump. And uh, well, the world record for this game is held by DK24. Uh, 28. 28, sorry. <laughs> I'm, I'm taking out some numbers, right? Yeah, DK uh, has held the record in this game for a couple of years now, and his time is really good. There's one other rather actually going for it right now who has the potential to get it, uh, who actually has the co op uh, world record together with TMR, uh, Angry Langs. So shout outs to him. Yeah, shout outs to him and I'm really rooting for him to get the world record. He's very close, he's one second apart, actually 0.8 of a second yeah. away from that world record. And he's determined, so... And he has the mashing, as I say, like uh, in this game you also need the mashing skills to, to do that. Uh, so my mashing, uh, how many times I press percent on the button, uh, it is around 9.5. So. For this game, in order to be like in world record uh, level, I would say like you need at least 12 to yeah, 13. Yeah, around 12. And uh, for reference, I think DK28 has around 15, I think. No, 13.5. 13.5, 14. 14. 5, yeah, 14, something okay. like that. But uh, you also need to be very consistent with the rhythm, which is really cool. Well, let's go to this level that is called Energy Zone. Here you have uh, what we call the Exo Skip. Exo is a speedrunner who well, clearly was the first one to do that skip. Eventually the community will have done it. Um, um, I did an adaptation from the task and I call it the Exo Skip 1.2. So it's, uh, <laughs> it's, it's 10 frames you save, like here, going to the right door. That is the 1.2, but, uh, but for a long time nobody was doing that. Uh, I did that. It was one of... Uh, my point one of a second apart to this game. Uh, well, I'm on many other strats, but uh, at some point I had the world record for this game. Uh, and it was really cool. Yeah, your knowledge of this game is quite spectacular, I would say. You probably know more about this game than most other people. Uh, nice. Really good pattern from JJ there. Um, if that boss is a jerk sometimes, he can't stand there jumping forever. Another uh, strat that I apported to the current speedrun of this game is the barrier route. Uh, before the people was skipping the barrier, believing that was uh, faster, but uh, I showed that, <laughs> that, um, that you can go for that barrier and, and it can be equally the same. But in fact, uh, going for the barrier could be better as well because... Uh, oh. If you get those guys and you're in standing in the minecart, they don't kill you. But if you jump, uh, they kill you. So that's why they didn't kill me there. Um, but yeah, grabbing that barrier and also, well, it was a combination with Salar. Salar was grabbing it while going down. Uh, but yeah, you know, the, the whole barrier route, but it was my or invention. My apport and, and it just, you kill that wall. That is, that is the whole thing that it is cool. Yeah, if you run fast enough and don't hit any walls or such, you can uh, get the first wall with the barrier instead of mashing it down. Ah. It makes quite a difference. I did you go for the frame perfect? Yeah, I tried. <laughs> <laughs> Had to try it. I was getting it sometimes in practice. So. Yeah. Really good. So that was the, I mean, it has a home stretch left now, right? Uh, kind of, yeah. yeah. Yeah, this is actually, I mean, after all those hard levels, Alien Slayer is surprisingly easy. I'm not gonna jinx it now, but ah, it's fine. You just go for it, man. Yeah, I mean, I, 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 I like here. working under pressure, man. Yeah. I mean, it's basically just running to the side and do a few jumps, but see, like in this level, I like uh, th there is two routes that you can take that uh, both are the same in terms of speed. Um, so I like taking the bottom path because I can kill all the enemies, so it feels good, I mean, like, you're killing 
everyone here in yeah. this game, so why not kill more? Oh, come on. Well. The bottom rouse is slightly, I mean, there's like one jump that actually is, I mean, this one. This can potentially kill you, but TMR is a pro. Nice. Ah, come on. Good, that's okay, fun, still good. Okay, ready with time. Really good. <clears throat> it was a very solid run because I got four cycles in the yeah in the sec in the base two boss the base two boss and that cost me like nine seconds so it was wow it was it was a world, <laughs> world record run <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah when, when I first got the world record it was a ten eleven time that uh, it was really epic mm. and since that day we have the WFR. As a scream, so world fucking record, guys! <laughs> yeah, you can say it here, finally. Yeah. Amazing. And that was really good. Well, I hope you like it. This is not my last run. I, I still have uh, Battletoads to play later on. So if you want me to try to do it blindfolded, I'm not sure if we have met the donation incentive, but you can put, put your donations towards that, uh, that incentive. I, I, I believe you're gonna enjoy it. The game is pretty awesome, but right now we have Yoka with some Rockman and Rock Forte. Man Forte. Yep. So thank you guys, thanks Stick for watching. For that. Thank you guys for a good nostalgia run with Contra. I believe many people here and also in the chat enjoyed this game when they were kids, just like I did. Yeah. Um, okay, uh, looks like we have a quick donation here waiting. Um, okay, we have $5 from Emerald Ali. Emerald Ali, I don't know how to pronounce it. Uh, you don't need to read this one, but Zet did the not like this emote on Twitter. Good enough for me. Save the kitties. And we got $5 from Anonymous. It's high noon, and good luck on Ness... Pardon me, and good luck Ness Crew. Um, upcoming game is Rockman and Forte, run by Yoka from Sweden. Yeah, Yoka is also the uh, the owner, the the head honcho of uh, MegamanLeaderboards.com. Great website. <laughs> Never heard of that one. Also, I'm new to speedrunning actually. Yeah, well, um, yeah, anyway, it looks like we are currently um, a little bit ahead of schedule. I don't know, I guess the I guess the speedrunners have just been too fast or something. Um, so we might have just... Yeah, let me check. Yeah, it looks like the next run might be starting in uh, as late as 30 minutes from now. So... Uh, if any of you guys out there are hungry, now would be a good time to go get some food. Or, uh... Sorry, Yoka shouted over to me. It's actually megamanleaderboards.net, not .com. We also had a discussion about setting up a new goal, including pack. You know which one I mean. Uh, remind me. At the end of ESA, that you would read us, uh, what was it? Like a bedtime story? Uh, I mean, I guess if it's all for charity, yeah, maybe. You can uh, set that up if you like. Is it visible now? Because Chad requested it. Um, I'll let you put that in. Charlie, you want to get in here? Have you got a... We're, uh, we're signing off soon. I'll get in the middle there. Grab a microphone. We're signing off soon and Charlie here What's is up, taking How you over. Doing? So we'll just... Uh, we'll have a bit of bants while we're waiting. Uh -huh. bit, of, bit, of, bit of bants with the lads. Uh, I'm afraid I didn't think I'd ever actually hear come out of an Irishman. Oh, probably should have Excuse us while we uh, clear up our mess as well. So uh, for $20, of course, you can uh, water the plant and rename it, if you would like. 
Um, we've got the second stream going on upstairs, just over there. Um, it's only a click away in your browser, though. Uh, Geeky Goon Squad. Um, what else have we got going on? Yeah, by all means. I mean, while we're uh, while we're waiting for the next game, well, you should we totally should... check out the other stream. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, while we uh, while we switch over, might as well run the Twitch ad, and we'll see you in a minute or two. Don't go Cause without you I'm drifting Hey, ladies and gentlemen, welcome, welcome back to ESA 2017. Uh, we are, well, we're just signing over, so you want to sign off? Yeah, we are signing off with Bag. As you can still see, our names at the bottom, and Shuri Root was our creation for the plant. I hope when I come back, I will see a different name for the plant and also much more water in it. I'll leave this to this, guys. Thank you for the chance, and it was a pleasure hosting for you guys. See you in a host stream, too, possibly. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. We're, uh, we're going to fly over to the game now, and uh, yeah, so good luck, have fun. Hey, we're live now. Hello, everyone. Hello. Hi. All right, let's get the Mega Man block going. <laughs> or, well, sort of, <laughs> by not playing Mega Man. <laughs> All right, three, two, one, go. Oh. No, Where's the button? <laughs> it's not working. No, no timer. Start the timer. <laughs> okay. There we go. Okay. That's fine.